Hey everybody, I'm Zachary Deptawa. This is Brian Binns. We are Cloud Developer Advocates for Microsoft. So Brian, what are we working on today? Uh, today we're building a Java app uh, using Spring Boot, uh, Time Leaf for the UI. Uh, we're connecting to the uh, backend database, which is going to be a MySQL database using Azure Database for MySQL. Uh, and then we're going to deploy this application uh, using Ubuntu and an Azure VM scale set. Um, and let me just show you on my screen here the actual application uh, running on a VM scale set. So this is the finished thing. I'm just showing you what we're going to be uh, working towards at the end. Um, basic stuff, it's just listing a list of tasks and then you can create a new task if you want. And you can mark things as complete. Um, so to get started with this, uh, the best place to start with a Spring Boot app is start.spring.io. It's a, a Spring Initializer. Uh, and if you scroll down in the Spring Initializer, uh, you'll see uh, several of what we call Azure um, Spring Boot starters for Azure. And what these are are a set of uh, application frameworks that you can use to actually access Azure services. Uh, via code uh, in your Spring Boot application. Uh, we also used Azure Database for MySQL um, and virtual machine scale sets. Uh, and the code that we're going to use, if you want to follow along at home, is uh, at BBEN's Spring Boot to do Azure Key Vault on GitHub. All right, so let's get right into the um, code itself. Uh, the first thing we want to do uh, is build the backend database for this. So building the backend database, I used a Terraform configuration file. Uh, it creates three things. It creates a SQL server. It creates a database inside that SQL server. And then it actually creates a resource group that holds uh, the SQL server. Uh, you always have to create a resource group when you're working in Azure uh, because it's a way that you can actually group things together. And let's just run a Terraform plan on this. to um, show you that the, actual that the actual Terraform file will run and will create these resources for you. It didn't actually create anything yet, but it did show me that it's actually going to successfully create that resource group, the MySQL server, and the MySQL database. And those will be ready to go. So I've actually already created these things. Um, I've created a database called BB MySQL Demo. Uh, what I want to do there is uh, connect my SQL database to my application. To do that, I get the connection strings down here in the Azure portal. Uh, I use the JDBC connection strings. And then I would actually access the application properties file inside my application. I would set up the URL to find the database. Uh, I set up the username, password, and the JDBC driver, and anything else you need to access the application. So now we've got a backend database. We've got an application that we built that's connected to the backend database. Um, next thing we want to do is basically just build a shareable file that we're going to deploy on the VM scale set. Uh, to do that, uh, you just do a maven command. So maven is actually the uh, the package manager that we're using to build the application. You can use Maven or Maven W. Maven W is going to build a WAR file for me. Uh, and when I do that, after I do that, I can just run and test the application locally using Java. Okay, so now the Java application is up and running. We didn't get any errors. That's good news. So we can try it locally. Here's the local instance of it. Um, and it's running. Everything's good. So I'll add a new task here. Uh, pass war file to Zach. Uh, and we'll use a demo category. Okay, add task. So there we go. So now I've got a war file. I am passing it to Zach. Zach is actually going to deploy this out on a Ubuntu VM scale set. Awesome, right. So the requirements that I was given was to use code uh, to deploy a provided Java application in a scalable manner. And so what I decided to use, um, if we take a look here, I decided to use Packer uh, by HashiCorp. And what this is is an open source tool 
that allows you to uh, basically build templates for images. So you can do all of those post-provisioning steps, for instance, installing Java, putting the app where it needs to be, putting startup scripts in place. That's exactly what I used it for. Um, this is the application actually running on my load balancer's public IP uh, for my virtual machine scale set. And let's just do looks good to me, looks good to me, add this task, and it's using the same database backend. So if we take a look, um, this is, uh, Packer uses JSON for its language, and so you can see I'm setting some variables, setting some uh, common information here, Ubuntu server, and the really important part here is I'm using these provisioners to go ahead and set files up that I need, do uh, build, uh, build steps, so basically install Java, pull down the war file, put it where it needs to go, and make it run on startup. And so this is a Terraform file, just standard Terraform here, uh, where I'm creating all the resources needed to build out the uh, VM scale set using that custom image. And so this is the demo image.json, the template. If I use Packer to build it, it'll take a while, but that's really as simple as it is. And so um, we won't be able to watch that build because it takes, uh, takes quite a bit of time to build the Java uh, that's needed. So uh, back to Terraform, you can see I have a number of instances set to five. If I wanted to scale this up, uh, I've already got this running to save on time. Um, I could just change this, this number here. And if we take a look, if I run a plan on this environment, it'll tell me that I need to uh, make an apply to change that capacity. And you can see here that it wants to change my capacity to six. So let's go ahead and run an apply. And once we confirm this, um, it's going to kick off and make those changes for us. So let's watch in the portal. This is my VM scale set. These are my instances. And we should see here shortly that it's building us a new image. And there we go. So we've got our six instance being created. And so what if I wanted to make this automatically scalable. Is there anything in VM scale sets to do that? Yeah. So uh, on my screen right now, I've got the portal. Uh, and and uh, if you click on the scaling uh, tab, down here you'll see uh, different commands that you can use, uh, different uh, scaling uh, profiles that you can set up. In this case, what I've got is if any of these, if all of the CPUs are running at more than 75% capacity, uh, we add a new uh, node to the cluster. If, they, if that added node blo falls below 25%, then it's actually going to remove that. Uh, you can also do other things. You can add other scale conditions, like you can add time, like if you want to say between Monday morning and Wednesday afternoon, add five extra VMs to my cluster, you can do that as well. So there's awesome. several different options. Well, there you have it. We deployed a Java application using Packer and Terraform um, and VM scale sets.